Today I fucked up eating drugs. Not today, but two weeks back. The wife got a new mega THC gummy in the mail, cut it up, popped a pess in her mouth, ranted about how bad it tasted, then did her thing. Few minutes later she lets out a giggle, says it kicked in and continued on. Nourish later, she's back to normal and takes the bag out again. She hands me a pest to smell cause it had a very strong smell. Feeling adventurous I pop it in my mouth. Big mistake. Though things are going good, our realtor calls and the wife answers. I'm giggling during the call, then suddenly I can't laugh anymore. She finished the call, and I can't speak. I try mouthing help but she doesn't notice. Feeling nauseous I run to the bathroom to throw eel but nothing. Come back up, sit on the couch, started hyperventilating, she notices. At this point I am mid severe panic attack and unable to move my thoughts away from my upset stomach. I wave my hand directed at the garbage can, she grabs it and I proceed to throw up a lot. I threw up so hard I pulled my stomach muscles apart, and I'm heaving and crying at this point. Everything is dark, can't focus on anything but the pain. Wife takes off. Feeling like death itself, I wait for release. She comes back with my stuffed duck. I saw him when she entered and the world lit back up. Picture a blob of dark oil then put dish soap in it and the dark pushes aside, she gave him to me, I lay down and blacked out. Woke up two hours later feeling happy aside from the stomach ache. It was a bad bad experience to say the least. TL, doctor ate too much weed gummy and thought death was coming to take me away. Might be a good time to address your underlying anxiety issues. Also possible it was just way too high of a dose. I used to smoke every single day and then one day a flip switched and I haven't been able to touch the stuff without getting mind boggling anxiety. Fucking sucks dude. Same happened to me, but I had, have, anxiety issues. Starting to smoke again helped me address them. Now I smoke too much again, upside down face. I'm here for the stuffed duck. Are you perhaps, a dog? Stuffed duck. Stuffy I suppose they're called by some people. Today I fucked up by making chili after recovering from covid. I love to cook, I dream of recipes and ways to improve classic dishes. In October, I got covid and lost my taste for a few months. It was difficult, but I decided to eat healthy and lost about 30 pounds. In December, my taste miraculously came back overnight. For a week straight, I cooked and created the most flavorful dishes I could think of. About a month ago, I decided to make chili with adobo chipotles, chocolate and stout beer. It was delicious. However, since then, everything I eat tastes like adobo. It has been a month and doesn't seem to be going away. It's like adobo is now coded into my DNA. Even my toothpaste tastes like smoky, sweet peppers. Yes, I've tried new toothpaste. My only rationale is the recalibration of my taste buds erred with covid and now I'm stuck with adobo in the fiber of my soul. Too long didn't read, I made chili after covid. I am now half man half adobo chipotle. Well that one took me by surprise. I was expecting the chili to be far too spicy, resulting in a sulfurous bathroom trip that burns your freshly regained olfactory nerves right out again. But, everything tastes like adobo. That's a new one. For some reason, when I was recovering from corona I could always smell a bit of ammonia. It has been 4 months since, and I can still taste and smell ammonia in some things, especially eggs for me. They smell and taste like ammonia and just like they're rotten, it's horrible. I have discovered some other stuff that has changed, too but eggs are by far the worst. Does your breath also smell like ammonia? Cause if it does you could be experiencing serious kidney issues. The smell and taste can also be caused by sinus issues, likely caused by corona. Regardless I'd probably have a test or two done to be on the safe side. Kidney problems can really sneak up on you. A friend of mine didn't realize his kidneys were in the toilet until he was suddenly very ill. Just get corona again. It might reset. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. I got this too. I did a deep clean of my chicken coop and now I have the taste slash smell of ammonia in my face all the time. Same thing with the toothpaste. I even taste it in ice cream and plain soup. I hope it goes away soon cause it's been more than a week skeptical. Oh no that is so much worse than adobo. 
I've heard this from other people who have tested positive. They taste one thing and then it's just that particular thing for a while. This month's mystery taste is strawberries. Unless it is overpowering umani, I taste strawberries. Water tastes like strawberries. I'm 11 months post-covid. Don't know WTF I'll do if everything suddenly tastes like shit or something. Kind of dig the strawberry water thing. Today I fucked up by leaving my hentai laptop exposed right on my bed. So for those of you who don't know whatever the hell hentai is, it's porn but anime. And I enjoy watching fake lewd drawings of girls because I'm a degenerate. Now, I have a separate laptop only for hentai in my room, and I found some really hot shit I wanted to use later that night. So as I was taking a shower, I heard someone go into my room, and I was just wondering why anyone would come into my room without my dumbass realizing that I left my laptop right on my bed. But I still didn't panic since I knew I locked the screen before closing the laptop, so whoever they were they would need to know my password in order to access my ahem hentai. And except for my brother no one knew my password. Now you might ask why tf my brother knows my password, and I'll just say that he often requests for the laptop when he wants to use it, so I just gave him the password so he could use it whenever he wanted. As I was coming down the stairs after taking a shower and into my room, my parents were just standing there giving me a how did I manage to raise such a disgusting, and degenerate, son and I thought I was safe. But fuck no I wasn't. Turns out my brother snitched me out just to fuck with me and told them the password for my laptop, so they basically went through every single fucking website and file I had on my laptop. There was a lot of stuff I didn't want to share on the laptop, but they had already went through every single fucking one of them. And my dad was just staring at me right in the eye and my mom started to scream at me on why the hell I would watch something like this. Keep in mind my parents are Asian and in my experience Asian parents tend to be more sensitive on this. They ended up taking away my sacred laptop, and now it's sitting in their room for all eternity. Too long didn't read, left laptop for hentai exposed and not hidden away, brother who knew password snitched and told my parents the password to unlock it and now it's gone, forever. But I most likely will just sneak the laptop every once in a while when I feel like it. D. Edit, people are calling me spoiled, so I should clarify. It's a $300 laptop, and I bought it with my own money. So please just shut the fuck up if you're just going to stupid hate on someone because he or she has two laptops. And my other laptop is connected to a lot of stuff, and far more expensive. So I just bought a separate laptop that was cheap enough. Honestly, is having two laptops such a big thing? A hentai laptop exclamation mark. Don't try to make sense of the dealings of wizards. I'm still stuck on this having a separate laptop just for hentai thing. Hope your brother realizes you are never going to trust him with anything ever again. Definitely, I don't know why he would do me like that skeptical. Your brother is a prick, eck him. Time to beat your bother with a bar of soap in a sock.